is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I'm here for a little bit of a different video. I'm doing a get ready with me. I'm just going to talk about some K-pop stuff and yeah, let's just, let's just do this. I have to get ready for the day anyway, so why not talk to you guys and bring you along with this and y'all are going to find out how terribly I do my makeup. So yeah, so I guess I'll just kind of just, like just jump, jump in. Primer. I'm, I'm really, I'm basic. So you're gonna see how basic that I am. So I guess let's just start by saying X1 has officially debuted. And I guess it is a place that I can say here, officially, that X1 is not just a group that I like, but X1 is officially 100% one of my old groups. Um, they are, probably second only behind one other group. Um, I just absolutely love and adore every member of X1, like just so, so, so much. So yeah, they're, they're my boys now. They are my boys. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of, kind of, kind of surprised me that I just went from, I think I like X1 to, I adore X1. Sign me up for any and everything now, please. Um, but that is what has happened. So I did um, leave a message for you guys to leave me messages in my curious cat. So those are the questions that I'm going to answer first. Um, I didn't have too many. There's like four of them and uh, three of them technically. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and let's, let's, I guess, start with those. So the first one is actually... Um, what is my honest opinion on the whole BTS pave the way? Um, and as an army, I think I have a very interesting perspective. And that said, I am an army who is a multi fandom. Um, BTS is my old group. Um, I do, as if you don't know this, I collect BTS very heavily. Um, I love them. I make videos about them. I, I am an army through and through there's I don't think anybody in the world that would think that I'm not actually an army um unless you didn't know me <laughs> um so that said the entire BTS pave the way thing actually it's it's something that kind of bothers me a little bit um and it's not that uh BTS hasn't done things that have changed the way that the K-pop industry does things on a whole, which is in itself extremely, extremely impressive. But what they're doing with a lot of the things that have changed aren't things that they were the first people to do. And I think that's one of the things that a little bit gets under my skin because a lot of the people that say BTS paved the way kind of tend to ignore other artists who've done things first. And I mean, yes, BTS is a massive influence. They have changed many perspectives because they've pretty much entered the, the their field and made people say, okay, maybe this isn't exactly how I thought it was and made people change their perspective, which is extremely important. And they've made it a landscape where people can operate a bit differently um but the problem is just it just when most people that are saying bts paved the way are lacking respect to other artists and they're like they're generally not getting the full grasp of everything that has happened that has led to bts being able to do the things that they have done and essentially change the way certain groups then also target things. Um, but the thing is also paving the way just means that you've made a path for other people to follow. It doesn't mean that you are the best at anything <laughs> either. So saying that somebody has paved the way doesn't actually, it, it means that it just means that BTS has, was, the first one to gain that sort of traction that made it possible for others. It's not any sort of credit to their talents, which is what is most important to me. 
um, their records and all that. Those are things that can be broken, things that can be changed. Um, but how they stand as artists, how their music is viewed, how things are done, that's going to stand a lot longer than, well, they were the first ones who did it. And yes, being the first ones who did it successfully, I should say, because like I mentioned before, oftentimes they weren't actually the very first ones to do it. Um, I mean, it just, it often just doesn't rub me the right way when people say BTS paved the way. Even though I am an ARMY and I am extremely proud of everything that they have managed to do. Um, but it's also, usually when people are saying that, they're saying it as a way to downgrade another group's achievements, which is pretty fucked up. Especially when you consider how BTS came from such a small company and was often overlooked. It's, it's just really disrespectful. You would think that um, uh, fans would make sure and be a little bit more empathetic. And I don't even think that this is all ARMY. I think most ARMY don't, uh, don't go around saying BTS paved the way. But there's a problem with a vocal minority, vocal minority, and it makes it seem a million times worse when in reality there may only be a few people that are jumping the gun and saying this to everybody and trying to make this known, but that is what a vocal minority is, and it just kind of sucks because it makes it, it makes ARMY feel, seem like they're like these dicks and these assholes that aren't appreciative and don't know where BTS has come from. And in reality, a lot of the people saying BTS paved the way aren't people that were there before things really blew up. So that's another thing that I've noticed. Um, but it is what it is. So I didn't really show you guys, but I just used some basic stuff. So this is the foundation I use. It's just Maybelline for me. And then this is the Morphe concealer. I haven't tried their foundation, but the concealer, it works for me. I like it pretty well. Um, I've been trying to apply it a little bit differently recently, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. So, um, and this is the ColourPop blush. This is the um, CD Later uh, pressed powder. Um, so I guess the next question is how much would I charge for a shout out for a K-pop forum? I mean, I don't, I don't really, <laughs> I don't charge things for people, but I don't know what K-pop forum is. I'd have to really take a look at what it is. Let's do my eyebrows. I just used the Mix Control Freak for my eyebrows because my eyebrows, as you can see, they're already pretty full and they have a decent color. Uh, there's a little tiny spot like right here that I wish I could felt. It's so minuscule that I just don't bother buying whole products for it. If you have any suggestions for that, like my eyebrows have always just kind of just been pretty decent. Always. Uh, a little bit. Okay. But okay, so next one. Get ready with me. What is the best way to get into a K-pop group that is new to me and how do you not get it, get overwhelmed or intimidated? So, when I start getting into a new group, and I guess the, other than X1, since X1 had produce that allowed me to start to get to know the guys, um, I've started to get into ATs, but I wouldn't say that I am in ATs enough to say that I'm staying them. So I guess the last group that I truly, truly got into, really got to know the members, is probably Stray Kids. Um, and so when I started to get to know Stray Kids, um, I really, first I got sucked in by the song. And then I later then decided I'm going to use the Strawberry Shake Palette. Um, but after I got sucked in by the song, I that's when I decided that, hey, I'm going to stand Stray Kids for real now. And um, when I did... That meant that I had to start looking into videos so rather than like dive into their shows and anything I actually spent more time on Twitter um, 
and the reason being is that Twitter has a lot of little videos and the people that are posting on Twitter know the guys better so they have these jokes and these um, they have jokes pretty much and they have a way of communicating with the guys in that um, it feels a little bit closer so by doing that going to Twitter I was able to get an idea of the guys a little bit better and their personalities and then I dove into like videos of them doing things together because I didn't want to not have an idea of what they were like first um, I still haven't watched all of the Stray Kid shows even still but that's the order that I went when I decided hey I'm going to actually stand Stray Kids for real um, beyond that it's actually been <laughs> kind of a while since I've really gotten into into a group because I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I've pretty much established what I'm interested group-wise, so I don't really stray too much unless something really, really impresses me. Um, it's, ju it's just the way that I am at this point because I've been listening to K-pop now for over three years. So, I mean, it's definitely nowhere near where how long some people have, but... It's also, it's not three years of just uh, picking up a song here and there. It's three years of intense listening. Like I listen regularly, daily. I focus in on stuff. So it's, it's been a lot. Um, but I mean, yeah, pretty much I go Twitter for f after the song I go to Twitter and then I go and start looking up longer full videos to get to know them better and then by then I'm sucked in and it is game over will I be opening a go for 17 this comeback yes 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 I will um, I actually did I just opened it yesterday <laughs> um i opened it yesterday evening i've been like crazy busy which is why part of the reason why this got put off um the other part was that i had like a my skin decided that it was going to say no i don't want to exist and i then i had a scab on my nose and since i was doing get ready with me i didn't want to have a huge scab on my nose is the way it is so um, and then I just, so this is like battered from all the times that I've touched it. Um, this is, this is a new bottle too. It's just, it just rubs off, but this is NYX, um, eyeliner. So it is the vinyl eyeliner. Before I go, I guess I should talk a little bit actually about, um, <laughs> about my babies, about X1. So X1 has officially debuted x1 is a group now well they've been a group for the past month but they have officially debuted now and i gotta say i enjoy and love flash very very much flash so here's the thing with flash flash is a, a bit electronic it is very pop and I've heard a lot of people say that it is generic. And I have a problem with the word generic. So a lot of people like to throw around the word generic and say that anything that generic is bad. But in essence, generic is not bad. You go to the store and you buy generic drugs because they're cheaper, but they're the same exact thing. It's not bad necessarily to be generic when you hear music that is generic it means that it's something that is familiar it is not different it's not something new it doesn't mean that it's bad it just means that it is not something different um so it's kind of like what are you really saying when you're saying and using your descriptor as being generic so do you want every single thing to be different i mean every song is going to be unique no matter what unless it's unless it's copyright like they've stolen like copies and it's like it's been like literally plagiarized that's the word um 
But I mean, otherwise, if a song is similar and it follows a similar style and you call it generic, I mean, I guess, but I, don't, I just, I don't get the negative connotation behind saying that something is generic because I mean, being familiar isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. Um, but it's just, I, I just don't get why, why generic is so bad. But that said, I don't think that, um, Flash is generic. Flash, no, I, I mean, I guess you could call it generic. It's not breaking any new grounds with this, but this is also a song that wasn't made for X1. It was made for the group of people that were going to become X1, no matter who was actually selected. Like, this was going to be the song probably from a few weeks before because they started filming within a week. This song wasn't made in a week and prepared for and had the choreography for. No, that didn't happen. This song was already set up. It was already in place and the boys were just there to fit into it. Going forward, there should be more catering because now they know, okay, this is going to be a song for X1. Here are the voices that we can work with. Here's what they're good at. Here's what they're bad at. Here's how we're going to work it. No, that didn't happen with the, with Flash. And people are like, oh, it's not good. It's, it is. It's a freaking, it's a good freaking song. Is it new and groundbreaking? No, but it's a good freaking song and I enjoy it and I like it. And is it the absolute best song in the world? No, but it's a good freaking song and I've been listening to it on repeat and I can get down with it. Like, it is what it is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, but, and I'll, and I'll, I'll finish. And so I just have some lip gloss. This is the ultra glossy lip from Colourpop. This is from the Strawberry Collection. It's called Very Good. But yeah. I mean, I love X1. I really like Flash, and I'm really still excited to see what they're going to be doing in the future, going forward, and what sort of things we can expect from them. Um, also, I, I'm running a content archive, so if you ever find any content that I've missed, it's a video archive specifically, go ahead and leave those. Like, yeah. But I'm really enjoying this. I'm happy. And I'm gonna go now because I have to like go to work, but I hope you guys enjoyed this mess of my very first ever get ready with me. I don't know if I should do this in the, in the future. I should do maybe a weekly thing where like you guys leave me questions and I just kind of just answer them and get ready for work one day. I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. We'll see. But I love X1. I love BTS. I love my groups. Stay happy. Stay healthy. I'll see y'all later.